A team of researchers say UW-Madison's decision to quarantine two of its largest residence halls last fall was likely impactful in slowing the spread of the coronavirus. Adam Duxter shares why the decision may have prevented a much larger community spread. The night of September 9th is one that most UW students won't soon forget as the university made the decision to shut down its two largest residence halls and pivot to online learning for two weeks. And tonight, researchers say that decision had a significant impact. Like thousands of other students on the UW campus, Gage Marino will never forget this past fall. The situation was just right for it to go wrong. At the time, he was a PhD candidate at UW. And following the dorm shutdown, it became his job, along with a team of others led by the CDC, to analyze how COVID spread from the start of the school year on. We worked with the university to collect samples from individuals who lived in the two high-rise dorms. Um, so we sequenced all of those samples to look at the genetic fingerprint that was kind of circulating within those two dorms. And they discovered once the year began, COVID spread and spread fast between the two residence halls. Whole genome sequencing data indicates that there was substantial intermingling between the students. Um, there was overlap in, in basically the the viral genome of the, the two outbreaks, suggesting maybe these weren't two unique outbreaks. They were sort of one large combined outbreak. But once they did close, those cases for the most part stayed put. The fact that it didn't spread into the community was just mere luck. Um, I don't really have a better answer for that. I know that a scientist is supposed to have kind of all of the answers, but I think it really just comes down to an element of luck. Regardless, he says it's also a testament of a quick decision from the university and students who gave up two weeks for a greater cause. They uh, impacted our community by following with this, following through with this quarantine more than they probably understand. Both Moreno and Dustin Curry from the CDC say the university's decision to go from testing students every other week for the coronavirus to testing them multiple times a week also played a significant role in slowing the spread of the virus on campus. For a link to that full study, you can visit our website, channel3000.com. At UW, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now.